Namaste to all of you. The intention of this video clip is to make sure that more and more Ayurvedic doctors are encouraged and inspired to have a Rasa Shastra based, fast acting, reliable, proven track record and most importantly safe combination of herbs kind of same way minerals and metals combinations that can be used even in an ICU setup or to bring very quick, reliable, safe results. This is the objective of making this video. And we have with us Dr. Ashwat Rao, who needs no introduction for the IVT community, being the doctor who has implemented Rasa Shastra medicines in ICU in COVID. And we already have the, you will see in that video uh, description, the link of the webinar that happened in Sitaram Acharya Sayana on 23rd of January. So, I will hand over the further details narration to you. Namaste everyone. It is my pleasure to share with all of you the list of medicines, especially Rasaushadis, which we can have with us always as emergency kit. And I am also thankful to many Vaidyas uh, who have guided me in the treatment of many emergency conditions using these medicines. And these medicines, uh, we can even add some medicines to this list or may not be required and it depends on the experience of the physician and this list I feel according to the conditions which I had to face in the field of modern medicine or in ICU settings. And definitely there are many experienced providers who can guide us in adding many more medicines into this list. Coming to the list of medicines one by one quickly, first one is Hemagarbopotali which we all know in cardiorespiratory conditions or sometimes in autoimmune disorders where we want quick results or I can say many a times uh, we may not feel some conditions are emergency conditions or when the person is in stage 4 palliative care where we want quick results especially even in cancer care I can consider even that as an emergency condition so these are all the conditions where I feel uh, hemagrabha portally can be a very good choice and along with that Abragarbha Pottali can be used along with other medicines for quick results. As we know in case of stroke, it can be either ischemic or hemorrhagic stroke or cardiorespiratory conditions. And for example, along with Abragarbha Pottali, I can use even the Brihat Bangeshwar Rasa if I have the option. Or along with Brihat Bangeshwar Rasa in acute or chronic renal failure, I can use Sarvata Bhadravati along with Abragarbha Pottali. And these are the combinations I feel instead of using uh, uh, separately, we can use this medicine in combination. And of course, Malagarbha Portali, once again for a very short uh, duration, maybe one or two days, when the saturation is very low or when there is fibrosis, when we need to reverse the fibrosis, etc. For quick results, definitely Malagarbha Portali also is one of the medicines I think we can have with us always. And Siddha Makarbha in case of stroke, as I mentioned and uh, earlier, as a combination we can use at this medicine and in cardiorespiratory conditions, this should be uh, one of the uh, medicines we can use along with other medicines. And definitely, even Shwasaka Shintamani Rasa, in case of ARDS or uh, in case of uh, pneumonia, which will lead to obvious ARDS. For quick results, when the patient is in sepsis, etc., where we want to quickly get down the infection, I think this will be a very good choice. And Rasa Raja Rasa, along with, for example, I can use with Hemagarbha Portali and Rasa Raja Rasa in case of uh, ischemic or hemorrhagic strokes or in road traffic acid accidents or many a times. Patients will be on anti-epileptic drugs in case of uh, uh, brain tumors. Many times I have stopped anti-epileptic drugs and I had patients on anti-epileptic drugs, they had uh, recurrent seizures. Even when, when there is when there are extensive cerebral mix or maybe a primary brain tumor, they are usually put on steroids as anti-edema measures. And along with that, they are even put on anti-epileptic drugs. So you, we know they have their own side effects. So definitely when we have, for example, Rasa Raja Rasa along with Hemagarbha Portali, I, I did not have any patients 
with even with cerebral meds when I had long term follow up having any episode, any seizure attacks. And of course, Jayamangal Rasa uh, can be used in, to reverse pulmonary fibrosis or in cardiorespiratory conditions or especially in leukemia. I had got very good results when the blast counts were very high or in case of blast crisis. That is when the blast count is more than 20%, we label it as blast crisis. So as this contains very high amount of gold when compared to Swarna Malati Vasanta etc. I think we can use this initially for few days. As it is expensive then we can shift back to uh, other medicines. So I think in the, in the initial few days or in multi-drug resistant tuberculosis where the patients are not responding to even our uh, even modern medicine and even usual Ayurveda medicines which are used, definitely this can make a big impact I feel. And Sohana Sutta Shekharasa, there, there are many patients who wanted to shift to Ayurveda treatment, who were taking a, a chemotherapy, maybe one or two cycles and then they got to know uh, or then they felt like shifting to Ayurveda treatment. But what chemotherapy was stopped even one or two weeks back, the side effects were very much present even after one or two weeks. For example, severe vomiting even after five, six days of, after stopping chemotherapy, even after IV MSI their condition was not improved. In such conditions, I powdered Sovana Sutta Shekharasa, mixed with honey and gave it as sublingual preparations. Within a single dose, vomiting had completely stopped in many cases. So I think this is one wonderful medicine in case of uh, acute gastritis or vomiting and not responding to usual medicines. Uh, definitely a wonderful medicine. And Trilaka Chintamani Rasa which contains Hirak Basma. This can be used as emergency medicine in many conditions along with other medicines and uh, definitely the indications are extensive so I cannot tell in particular condition or I have seen many patients having this as a first aid kit for example if there is a chest pain or if there was a history of uh, uh, like heart disease in the family or the person would have, have already had an MI and stenting done when he had a chest pain for the second time in, before he reaches the hospital I think it is better to have this Trilakushin Rasa to open the capsule or whatever form it is and have this as sublingual medicine so definitely it can increase the golden hour what we say in modern medicine or if you are traveling it we can have it in our vehicle or in front of the television etc before we reach the doctor I think or the tertiary care center this is one of the very good medicine to have I feel Brath Bhageshwarasa, as I mentioned earlier, in case of uh, uh, autoimmune disorders causing renal failure or for example, I am not telling acute and chronic renal failure, for example in leukemia, the drastic increase in blast counts will release in lysis of the cells which will increase uric acid in the blood and that can cause renal failure. Till we are able to get the WBCs under control, the person has to be even uh, taken, the renal condition also has to be taken Care. So I think in mortal conditions there is a, a renal insult, I feel, Brad Bangeshwarasa or Sarvata Badravati. So again depends on the affordability of the patient and many times we cannot see the affordability in emergency conditions along with Sarvata Badravati either Abragarbha or Sahasrapati Abrakabhasma and Brad Bangeshwarasa or Abrakabhasma. So these are all the combinations can be used depending on the experience of the treating vaidya. and Vishagarbha Portali. So where I found it has a very good use as emergency medicine is in leukemia where the person is having fever, constant fever in case of um, uh, acute myeloid or lymphoid leukemia where it is a recurrent condition where it is difficult to get the disease under control even after second line, third line chemotherapy has failed I think Vishagarbha Portali in very high dose can rapidly get down the or stop the multiplication of the cells and of course when the cells counts are very high it can obstruct the free flow of um, it can stay, it can cause stasis in the lungs so it can cause uh, hypoxia or it can cause stasis renal stasis that can cause renal failure etc where we are in a condition uh, or where there is a need to rapidly decrease the cell count or there is extensive meds liver meds to arrest the meds before we stabilize the patient etc. To stabilize the patient in case of uh, extensive metastatic malignancy. 
I have got very good results with the uh, Vishagar Bapakali. And I would like to conclude by telling one more medicine, Chandrakalarasa, even though it is not a, a good preparation. I have used it in many emergency conditions where even modern interventions fail. For example, in old age people, epistaxis due to hypertension. Many a times, even though after we get the blood pressure under control, after emergency intervention, the bleeding has not stopped. Usually, we pack the nasal cavity using gauze. That will be soaked, again we remove it. I had some patients, or my father has treated many such cases. Even after packing the nasal cavity for 2-3 days, the patient continued bleeding. Within one dose of 4 tablets of Chandrakal Rasa, bleeding had completely stopped. 